Good morning again, and welcome to our service of morning prayer. We extend a special welcome to those who are visiting. We pray that this worship will be a blessing for all. Before I begin, today donations of flowers have been received in loving memory of Eva Townsend and Ella Best, Mary Volke and Florence George. And for all dearly departed mothers, we pray. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. As we remain standing, I would like to begin with a prayer for mothers. Let us pray. Loving and gracious God, on this special day known to many as Mother's Day, we give you thanks for those who nurture and care for children. For many, we reflect with fond and loving memories on our mothers who are no longer with us. And Lord, for some, mothers have been an aunt or is an aunt, a grandmother, an adoptive mother, an older sister, and yet truly they are mothers. We give thanks for those who, though they may have no children of their own, nevertheless selflessly care for the children of others, of every age and state in life. We ask now for your blessing on all those to whom you have entrusted motherhood. May your Holy Spirit constantly inspire and strengthen them. May they ever follow the example of Mary, the mother of Jesus, our Lord, and imitate her humility and her self-giving love. Grant that they may worthily foster the faith of their children and receive your grace abundantly in this earthly life. And may they look forward to eternal joy in your presence in the life to come. We ask this through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Using the BAS, let us turn to page 45 and begin with the penitential rite. Page 45. The sacrifice of God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite act. O oh God, you will not despise. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just, and will forgive our sins and cleanse us <laughs> from all unrighteousness. Dear friends in Christ, as we prepare to worship Almighty God, let us with penitent and obedient hearts confess our sins, that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. Together, most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole and we only repent for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ. Have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and keep us in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, open our lips. O oh God, make speed to save us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Join me on page 48 for sentence number 10. Hallelujah! The Lord is risen indeed. Oh, come, let us worship. And in unison, we will say the Benite and the Jubilate on page 49. Together, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise the left shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The 
sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today we would hearken to his voice. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a sound. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. You may be seated for the proclamation of the word. <coughs>
that we obey his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. For whatever is born of God conquers the world, and this is the victory that conquers the world, our faith. Who is it that conquers the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ, not with water only, but with water and blood. And the Spirit is the one that testifies, for the Spirit is the truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gradual limb is number 713. Jesus loves it. 713. <coughs> You did not choose me, but I chose you, 
and I appointed you to go and bear his official Sunday school day. So we decided to participate and have a Mother's Day service, um, just in dedication, I guess, of all moms. Uh, so hopefully you will enjoy it.
Jillian, thanks. Sorry, so it's for the whole book. But very important. Jillian Jakes. <laughs> And before we continue, I'm going to ask Maya to come up with me for a minute. And we just want to take a minute to thank Lana for being our Sunday School Superintendent this year. She's done a great job. We've had a great Sunday School. And we really appreciate the time and effort that Lana has given our program.
The prayer over the gifts can be found in your bulletin. Let us pray together. God of glory, accept all we offer you this day and bring us to that eternal city of love and love. For Christ is King, we ask this in his name. Amen. Let us pray. For our prayer today, we'll be using litany number five, found on page 114. Litany number five. Let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all faithful servants. We pray that through their witness and the guidance of your Holy Spirit, more will come to know and serve you. In our Anglican, in our Anglican communion, we pray for Rowan, our Archbishop, Fred, our Primate, Claude, our Metropolitan, and David, our Diocesan Bishop. In our Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Church of the Province of Melanesia, the Most Reverend David Vuneji, Archbishop of Melanesia and Bishop of Central Melanesia. In our tri diocesan intercessions today, we pray for the Parish of the Resurrection and the Rector, the Venerable General Gerald Westcott, South River Conception Bay North, and for the parish of St. Anthony and the rector, the Reverend Ralph Moore, and the congregation of St. Mary the Virgin, St. Anthony. Also the parish of Pistolet Bay and the rector, the Reverend Diane Smith, and its congregations at St. Matthew Cooksaber, All Saints Cricket, St. Mark Bodaber, St. Paul's, St. Carol's, and St. Paul Rally. We lift up to you, Lord, O oh Lord, our own parish of St. Mary's. We give thanks for Reverend Daphne and her spiritual leadership and dedication in serving you. We pray that her time away will be one of refreshment and rest. And we pray for all here who help build up the body of Christ. Be at work in all of us so that what we do will be pleasing in your sight and bring honor and glory to your name, Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray for the peace of the world. We pray that the leaders of the nations will seek wisdom from you to govern and lead their people. We pray that peace and cooperation will become their common goal. We especially remember those who are struggling today for the very peace that we enjoy. We pray for the people of such countries as Yemen, Afghanistan, Sudan, Somalia, Pakistan, and Iraq. We give thanks for those who offer themselves to help bring peace and security to other nations. We remember our troops and allied forces abroad. May they experience success in their endeavors. The Lord grant that all may live together in justice and faith. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for this country of Canada, and especially for Queen Elizabeth, for David Johnson, our Governor General, for Stephen Arper, our Prime Minister, Kathy Dunderdale, our Premier, and Fred Best, our Mayor, and all those who are in authority. We pray that they seek your guidance to help in their great task of governing this country. And Lord, we give you thanks for the peace that we enjoy. The Lord help them to serve this people according to his holy will. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for children and young people. We pray that their learning environments will be a safe place for them. We pray for an end to bullying and hazing and all that degrade and belittle our youth. We pray that more parents will realize the need to nourish their children in the faith. Today we give God thanks for our servers and those in our youth group and today for the witness of all those who participated in our Sunday school presentation. We pray, Lord, your blessing on them and on their leaders. For all young people, 
We ask you, Lord, to guide their growth and development. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the sick. Remembering today Lillian, Jim, Susie, Harold, Yvonne, Matthew, Reverend Jim, Reverend Nathan, Clayton, Reverend Tanya, Reverend Paul Sr., Lena, Al, William, and Riley, and any others known to you. You may pray in loud or in the silence of your heart. The Lord deliver them and keep them in his love. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who are condemned to exile, prison, harsh treatment, or hard labor for the sake of justice and truth. Hold them, Lord, in your loving arms and help them sense your presence in the midst of all their suffering and pain. Lord, support them and keep them steadfast. Lord, hear our prayer. We remember the prophets, the apostles, martyrs, and all who have borne witness to the gospel. We pray that we too will remain faithful to our calling and that we will bear good fruit till our journey ends. The Lord direct our lives in the same spirit of service and sacrifice. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us offer up to God our thanks by praying together the second Thanksgiving prayer to be found on page 129. Page 129. Together. Accept, O oh Lord, our thanks and praise for all you have done for us. We thank you for the splendor of the whole creation, for the beauty of this world, for the wonder of life, and for the mystery of love. We thank you for the blessing of family and friends, and for the loving care which surrounds us on every side. We thank you for setting us tasks which demand our best efforts, and for leading us to accomplishments which satisfy and delight us. We thank you also for those disappointments and failures that lead us to acknowledge our dependence on you alone. Above all, we thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, for the truth of his word and the example of his life, for his steadfast obedience by which he overcame temptation, for his dying through which he overcame death, for his rising to life again, in which we are raised to the life of your kingdom. Grant us the gift of your spirit, that we may know Christ and make him known, and through him at all times and in all places, may give thanks to you in all things. Amen. Join me now in praying the calling for the sixth Sunday of Easter, found in your bulletin. Together, merciful God, you have prepared for those who love you riches beyond imagination. Pour into our hearts such love toward you that we, loving you above all things, may obtain your promises, which exceed all that we can desire. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now is our Savior Christ is time forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our clothing name is the one found in the insert found in your bulletin. Home is owned, however, lonely. 